version 2.00 has a complete organization of bones, including the UE5 original skeleton, UE5 main bones, a blender translated skeleton, the blender rig helpers, and finally, the blender rig. The IK of the rig was completely redesigned, offering now soft IK techniques to feed an arm's IK, preventing things like knee poping. The blender translated skeleton allows a much more precise IK. Furthermore, corrective bones are now part of the game, carefully scripted to allow even more detailed and realistic animations. A small but very helpful addition is the complete fingers controls, allowing to close all the fingers at the same time, but still controlling each one individually if desired. If you were thinking hips and chest auto balance are forgotten, it's quite the opposite. Body balance system is even better, designed with a lot of study and research, with better control and rotations based on how our body balances in real movement. Now, let's see in a practical example how this rig can help our work, making a simple walk cycle. Enabling the x-axis mirroring, we will bring the feet closer, putting the character in this position. And then, we also position the arms like this. Let's adjust the body inclination. Now we turn of the X axis mirroring off and start positioning the feet. Watch how the hips are automatically balanced. That's absolutely crazy. Now we do the same with the arms, but in the opposite sides of the legs. Go to the middle of the animation cycle, copy the pose, and paste it flipped. In the middle of these two frames, correct the foot rotations. Now, we will just copy the frames we made, and paste them flipped in the middle of the animation, creating a loop. And finally, we have a not polished, but almost done walk cycle with just a few steps. If you liked that content, like and subscribe. You can also find me in the social media. Thank you for watching.